the Bible says alitokwa na damu miaka kumi na miwili. This woman had about Jesus. Na alisema ya kwamba mi I have faith that kama nikiguza hiyo vazi ya huyo Yesu ni lazima hii kutokwa damu kwangu kuweze kukoma. Sema amen. I am here to tell somebody tonight get tired of that situation which is making you you know people to talk about you. Hallelujah. You have to get tired. Hallelujah. You have to get tired of your situation. The moment you get tired of your situation and say today is the day of my deliverance, today is the day of my healing, today is the day I want to touch Jesus. You have come here not to meet with your friend, not to meet your, with your fiance, not to meet with your best friend, not to meet with anybody, but I want to declare we are here to meet with Jesus. Na nakuambia vile umekuja Maria hapa kukutana na Yesu ni lazima utakutana na yeye. I don't care how you came here. But all I know is that today you are going to touch Jesus. Unaenda kukutana na Yesu. Na ukikutana na Yesu mapepo yote ile ilikuwa inakuzunguka inaenda kuhama. Magonjwa yote ile ilikuwa inakutatiza inaenda kwenda kwao. Sema amen. Toplessness I'm telling you you are not going to get it you are not going to see it again. That is if at all you make up your mind to say today I want to meet with Jesus. Kama huyo mwanamke aliamka ndani ya nyumba yake akaenda akasema ya kwamba siku ya leo ninajua nitataka kujua huyo Yesu. Sijui kama umekuja for this ladies of excellence today evening service that you say I want to meet this Jesus. Huyu mwanamke na anajua wanawake when you make up your mind to do something no matter who it is ni lazima utatenda. Wangapo wanajua wanawake have got a vision. Wanawake tuko na nini? Tuko na maono. Si hata wanaume wamuna muona lakini nakwambia maono mwanamke akisema yes I will do it she will do it. July ninalileta neno la kionabi pale mwisho wa kipindi tafadhali ningelitaka uwe na maji na glass au maji na kikombe ambayo tutayaombea pale mwisho mwisho na baada ya kuyaombea utakunywa hayo maji kawaida huwa hatutumii maji all the time wakati huu wote nimehubiri kwa television na kumbuka ni mara moja tu miaka iliyopita nimewahi sema tutumie maji tuyanywe julai hii tunapoianza ninasikia tutakunywa maji ambayo nitayaombea pale mwisho wa mahubiri ya leo lakini kwa sasa hebu nililete neno wakati na wewe unajiandaa na maji kwa glass kwa kikombe au kwa container yeyote mwisho wa mahubiri ya leo in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah kwake Yesu Kristo nataka nililete neno toko mwezi wa Julai nataka nisome mstari ambao Nebukadneza alisema moto uongezwe makali kuliko kawaida uwe seven times hota Daniel chapter number 3 verse number 19 inasema then was Nebukadneza full of fury and the form of his face was changed against Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego therefore he spoke and commanded that they should hit the furnace seven times than it was heated kulingana na biblia nebukadneza alifungua kinywa chake na akasema moto ningelitaka ukaongezwe makali seven times kuliko kawaida ili hiyo moto iangamize Meshach, Shadrach na Abednego lakini kuliko iangamize hao iliangamiza watumishi wake Nebukadnezar yani Nebukadnezar wakati 
Mwenyekiti anasema moto uongezi wa makali seven times kuliko kawaida alidhania huo moto utaangamiza Mesha Shadra na Abednego lakini badala ya kuangamiza hao moto uligeuka ukaangamiza askari wake hivyo mwezi huu wa saba popote ambapo wanaongeza makali wakidhania wanakumaliza wewe watakuwa wanajimaliza wenyewe fitina zote ambazo wanainua Julai wakidhania ni wewe ambaye wanafitini inakuja kuwageuka kama vile wakati wa Mesha Shadra na Abednego wakati ambapo moto unaongezwa makali e, kulikuwa na intention ya kwamba ni Shadrak na Mesha na Abednego watakao teketea na hiyo moto lakini badala ya wateketezwe wale ambao waliwarusha wale wanajeshi waliokuwa wanafanya kazi chini ya Nebukadnezar hao ndio walio teketezwa na faya hivyo ndivyo itakuwa kuanzia sasa mitego ambayo wanakutegea wewe wao ndio watakaonaswa uchawi ambao wanakupangia wewe huo uchawi utawageuka na utaanza kuwapiga wenyewe uongo wote ambao wamesema kinyume na wewe huo uongo unaenda kuwadhuru hao e, badala ya uongo kukudhuru wewe e, kila aina ya makaburi ambayo wamechimbia wenye haki wao ndio watakao anguka ndani mitaro yote ambayo wamechimbia e, yeye ambaye ni mkamilifu wao ndio wataanguka e, ndani ya hiyo mitaro maandiko yananionyesha nebukadneza wakati anasema moto uongezwe makali mara saba e, kuliko kawaida alijua ya kwamba ni kwa ajili ya meshaka e, shadrak na abednego hakuwa anajua huo moto unaenda kuwa lamba lamba askari wake hivyo ndivyo ilivyo hata wakati huu mambo haya yote machafu wanapanga wakidhania wewe ndio utakuwa victim wao ndio watakuwa victim wewe utakuwa ni victor nebukadneza alikasirika na akasema e, kwa ajili ya shadrak ya meshak na abednego ningelitaka moto utiwe makali mara saba kuliko kawaida yani nebukadneza alichanganyikiwa akasahau namba seven it is the number of god it is the number of divinity it is the number of perfection it is the number of creation it is the number of victory it is the number of success it is the number that heals yani alisema seven times na wakati ambapo mungu ananipatia hilo neno alinifungua macho ya kiroho akanionyesha ya kwamba sanamu ya dhahabu iliyokuwa dedicated that day hiyo ndio ambayo dhahabu ilikuwa inatengenezewa inaoshewa kwenye hiyo tanuru ya moto yani kuna sanamu ya nebukadneza ambayo ilikuwa imemalizika kujengwa e, kumbe kulikuwa na fani ya dhahabu mahali ambapo gold ilikuwa inaoshewa ilikuwa inateketezwa inasafishwa ili baadaye ikajenge mnara na ikajenge sanamu ya nebukadneza e, sasa ile fani e, ndio mfalme alisema e, ya kwamba ningelitaka iongezwe makali e, seven times kuliko kawaida e, na wakati alisema seven times alichanganyikiwa e, maana seven is the number of victory e, nimekuja kutabiri mwezi wa saba ijapokuwa shetani anaweza kuwa na nia mbaya akumbuke ya kwamba seven it is the number of victory e, mungu aliziumba bingo na inchi na kila kitu e, mwezi wa saba e, ninaona kuna kupumzika e, maana jehova alipumzika e, katika siku ya saba e, ninaona mtu kama na amana aliingia ndani ya jordan seven times e, mara ya saba katoka amepona hivyo mwezi wa saba e, kuna 
uponyaji wa kiafya kuna uponyaji wa kiuchumi e, kuna uponyaji wa nchi kuna uponyaji wa ndoa e, kuna uponyaji wa kazi katika jina la Yesu Kristo e, Jericho ilizungukwa mara saba e, na mara hiyo ya saba e, walipiga kelele e, nazo kuta za Jericho zikaanguka hivyo tunaona namba seven e, ni namba ya victory e, ni namba iko na power ya mwezi huu wa saba ya mambo mazuri yatafanyika i know my redeemer is a faithful god i know the promises of god they can never be hindered by any other external or internal force in the mighty name of jesus christ nebukadnezar baada ya kuona kile alichokiona ya kwamba askari wake ndio waliangamizwa na moto ambao alisema uongezwe makali ya mara saba ya maandiko yananiambia aliweza kuruka na akachungulia ndani ya moto akaona Meshach Shadrach na Abednego wanatembea ndani ya moto huku wakiwa wamejiunga na yule ambaye ni wanne e, Bible inatuambia alikuwa anafanana na mwana wa Mungu e, Biblia inaniambia ya Nebukadnezar aliwaita ya Meshach Shadrach na Abednego maana alishangaa e, vile ambavyo wanatembea ndani ya moto e, moto ambao alikuwa amesema uongezwe ukali wake e, seven times kuliko kawaida yani roho wa Bwana akanifunulia wakati shetani atakuinukia e, kwa njia isiyokuwa ya kawaida e, naye Jehovah atatokea e, kukusaidia e, kwa njia isiyokuwa ya kawaida wakati ambapo madeni yasiyokuwa ya kawaida yatabisha hodi ndani ya maisha yako e, naye Jehovah atatenda miujiza ya kipesa isiyokuwa ya kawaida e, wakati ambapo kuna tokea hatari isiyokuwa ya kawaida e, ndani ya maisha yako e, Jehovah ameandaa ukombozi usiyokuwa wa kawaida e, wakati ambapo watu wanajipanga e, kinyume na wewe e, kwa njia isiyokuwa ya kawaida hivyo ndivyo Bwana na yeye amepanga majeshi wa malaika e, majeshi ya malaika e, wamepangwa waje wasimame na wewe e, Nebukadnezar alishangaa e, maana wale watu aliyosema warushwe ndani ya moto walionekana wakitembea ilibidi awaite watoke ndani ya moto na wakati ambapo walitoka alisema kuanzia leo ninaitoa amri watu wote na mataifa yote wakaweze kutetemeka wakamwabudu Mungu wa Meshaka Shadrach na Abednego na maandiko yananiambia ya kwamba aliwapatia promotion Nebukadnezar aliyekuwa anataka kuwaua awali sasa anawapatia promotion nina declare mwezi huu wote ambao walikuwa wanataka kukuangamiza wanaenda kulazimishwa e, by circumstances e, zile tunaita militating circumstances e, they are going to force e, your earlier enemies e, they are going to promote you e, they are going to talk a good of you e, they are going to support you e, they are going to whisper e, something nice about you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hivyo tunaona mwezi huu wa saba ni mwezi wa baraka e, kwa wote ambao wameamua kumwamini Jehova Nebukadnezar alikuwa amejitolea kupambana na hawa vijana Meshach Shadrach na Abednego lakini kitu kilitendeka na hiyo njama yake ikafika mwisho mwezi huu wa Julai kuna mambo yanafika mwisho kutukanwa kuna fika mwisho njaa inafika mwisho kuona kiu kwa ajili ya ugonjwa wa sukari inafika mwisho kupigwa vita vya mwili kuna fika mwisho kuaibishwa kuna fika mwisho uchungu wa kila aina unafika mwisho 
utasa wa kila aina unafika mwisho kukopa kopa kunafika mwisho kuambiwa kila wakati come tomorrow kunafika mwisho hii Julai kudanganywa kunafika mwisho kuitwa mjinga kunafika mwisho in the name of Jesus Christ uovu kuwa ndio umeshinda imefika mwisho hii Julai in the name of Jesus Christ kuanguka dhambini kila wakati kunafika mwisho hii Julai in the name of Jesus Christ matatizo yoyote ya msalani yani kuwa na shida wakati unaenda chooni i declare hizo shida zote ambazo ni kama constipation ugonjwa wa piles bleeding isioeleweka hemorrhage and every other related problems zote zinafika mwisho hii July in the name of Jesus Christ yani lile neno bwana anaweka ndani yangu ni ya kwamba Nebukadneza kuwa dharau wakina Meshach Shadrach na Abednego kunafika mwisho hii Julai kuna kitu Mungu atafanya hii Julai wataacha kukudharau in the name of Jesus Christ kulikuwa na crusade upande wa Kosovo pale Madhare depot Jumamosi kuliokoka watu 92 Sunday wakaokoka watu wa 9 hivyo weekend iliyopita kwa crusade yetu kuliokoka watu mbili na moja siku iliyofuata ya mandi tulirudi tena Kosovo kwa ukumbi wanaoita wa UNICEF tukawaombea wajazwe na roho nayo siku ya Tuesday tukafanya ubatizo wakabatizwa ndani ya maji mengi tunakubatiza katika jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu na katika hawa watu waliokoka kuna huyo brother mmoja aliyetushangaza alikuwa anaenda kujua kujitoa uhai lakini Jehova akaitumia crusade na akamuokoa hebu barikiwa na ushuhuda wake Bwana asifiwe Nimeshuhudia mambo ambayo sijaona mashangu tulikosana kwa familia kati ya tumejaribu kuzuisha mzozo kati mimi na yeye imekataa mpaka wazazi wamemkatalia sasa hizi nilikuwa ninaenda kukunywa dawa isili. <laughs> Nimesikia nime tu sauti kutoka pale nimeacha na hiyo dawa nilikuwa nimewe kwa bombe nikunywe nikufe. Usikia nimenunua nime dawa ya ngombe pale isili. Nimesikia tu sauti nimemwaga hiyo dawa nimekimbia mpaka hapa basi. Yaani haukujua kuna crusade. Si kujua. Sasa ulikuwa unaenda kununua dawa au ulikuwa umenunua? Tayari nilikuwa nimenunua dawa nikasikia basi mwili wako huko hiyo side nika mama pale isipipia nikaangalia ndio nikarusha hiyo nilikuwa nafikiri mnamalizia kufika hapa jioni nikapata baada ya mchamalizia kwa hivyo kama sio hii crusade tulioleta hapa upande wa Kosovo leo ungekuwa maiti basa nilikuwa nimeamua maana yake nimefika mwisho kuzuguzana mkati ya bibi na familia zetu maangu wote wanakata na uko na watoto niko na watoto mabacha katika mikono juu shikilia yako mabega huyu mwanaume aliyekuwa anaenda kujitoa uhai leo nimeweka mikono juu yake siku ya leo ndoa yake Mungu naiponya maisha yake will never be the same again na kuna karama ziko ndani yake ndio kubarikiwa na hii familia ita survive chukua anointing chukua power chukua nguvu zake bwana thank you jesus Hallelujah. Huyu mama anasema baada ya maombi katika hi 
crusade aliweza kukimbia nilipomuuliza mara ya mwisho alikimbia ni lini alisema hata kumbuki ni miaka mingi iliyopita alikuwa na matatizo ya miguu Jehovah akamweka huru Bwana asifiwe atukuswa Yesu mimi jana nilikuwa mgonjwa sana nilikuwa naumwa na miguu sasa nilisikia msikana wangu akakuja akaniambia pastor Pius Mwilo akawa pale Kosovo nikajaribu kufikiria kama nitaweza kwa Mungu nipike hapo nikasikia roho wa Mungu ameniambia enda nikakuja vile niliombewa jana ningojea mkuseti kaisha miguu yangu ni saa hii mpaka hata saa hii nasikia imekuwa nyepesa hata pesa kupitia subiri subiri kwani ulikuwa na shida gani ya miguu miguu ilikuwa inauma na nilikuwa nasikia ni msito sana na imekutesa kwa muda gani sema ukweli ukweli kama miaka ngapi Tuseme kutoka 207. Bena microphone na usimame hapo. Usimame hapo hapo tu. Aha. Miguu yako imekamata nguvu na haitakutesa tena. Ah! Power! Ebada kunywa hayo maji nenda ukapate ka 
mazi nenda ukaongeleshwe vizuri nenda ukapewe kile unafuatilia nenda ukaone ushindi nenda ukaone miujiza hayo maji ambayo umeshikilia hayo maji sasa hivi ninayatakasisha katika jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu hayo maji sasa yalete kwenye kinywa chako anza kunywa dakika hii anza kumeza hayo maji hayo maji wakati yanaingia nguvu zake bwana zinaingia hayo maji wakati yanaingia miujiza inaingia wakati hayo maji yanaingia baraka ya Mungu inakuingililia miujiza inakutendekea uchawi wote unavunjika utasa wote unavunjika mapepe yanakuachilia kupitia maji ambayo umekunywa nina declare magonjwa yote ambayo ni water bond diseases yote yameondoka in the mighty name of Jesus Christ miujiza ndio hiyo inakutendekea dakika hii raboshka tataria taya rabereka tachasizia anza kumshukuru bwana wa mabwana kwa ajili kupitia maji umepokea miujiza yako anza kumshukuru bwana anza kumwambia thank you jesus anza kumwambia anastahili anza kumwambia ye ndiye ebeneza anza kumwambia ye ndiye kimbilio kupitia maji ambayo yameingia ndani ya mwili wako ninatangaza uponyaji unaendelea ndani yako whatever medicine could not cure you are faith in a god today imeponya hiyo kitu miujiza imeanza shuhuda ambazo zitapatikana kutokana na mahubiri na hiyo prophetic activity ya leo ni shuhuda ambazo sio za kawaida na baada ya haya mambo yote mtolee bwana sadaka fulani ukiweza kutoa sadaka ya mia tatu ukiweza kuitoa ya mia tano ukiweza kutoa ya elfu moja mtolee bwana sadaka e vile maji yameingia ndani yako wacha sadaka itoke maisha ni mwako na baada ya kuitoa pia ninatangaza kicheko 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 kina replace kilio in your life maandiko yananiambia morning may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning kicheko kimezaliwa ndani ya maisha yako haleluya 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 wakati ni huu wakubarikiwa samuni yangu sasa kupokea naitwa ian ian unataka kufanya nini poe aendelea when i was young I was crying for milk but now father mother i'm crying for education 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 keep success ninaswa kwa mwalimu je maisha yangu yakienda kombo nani atauliza baba anchape kidogo mama anchape kidogo walimu anchape kidogo ili nijue mabaya na mazuri wengo alisema asiyefunzwa na mamaye ufunzwa na ulimwengu shukran yes ian you have seen what god is doing if you are led by the spirit of god to give to his work because the bible says whatsoever a man soweth the same shall he reap and give and it shall come back unto you now for all the information concerning giving the information is here the paypal information or you can even use the western union you can use the moneygram and you can use my name pius muiro and if you do that you rest assured that everything is going to reach where it is needed to reach for the glory of god otherwise god bless you sustain you fight your battles but above all i'm reminding you that what the enemy had designed for evil Jesus is turning it around for your good.